Have you always lived in Cobb County? Yes. Your whole life? That's so funny. Um, how, tell me how you and your family ended up here. You know, I guess around four or five hundred years ago, uh. the Jones family decided they were going to overthrow the King of England and execute him, which they did, the son of King James death warrant, and my family fled. Okay. So they came to America about that time. Uh, there you go. So you've just been here your whole life, basically. For several generations. Sure. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, um, and you're a homeowner, correct? Do you know uh, approximately when you moved into this home? About 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Do you know what year it was? Uh, I really don't. It's on the deed. Okay. It's 15 years ago. Okay. My dad bought the property and gave me two and a half acres. You know, to get my stepsister two and a half acres. Oh, that's right. One his grandkids kind of close. So, did you were you living in this area your whole life? Smyrna. So, like that that other house that we went to, were you living there before? No, I lived in Smyrna. Oh, in Smyrna. Okay. Yeah, it was just Campbell High School. Gotcha. So you weren't always like in this house when no. you grew up. House is property friend. Fifteen years. My dad bought it, developed it 16, 17 years ago. Okay. So where did you grow up then? Smyrna. Just like all your life was in Smyrna and then you moved here 15 years ago? Well, I joined the military and went off college and stuff like that, too. Okay. Yeah. I've got a kid serving the Coast Guard right now. Okay, cool. He lives in Jacksonville. He's your age. Oh, wow. Okay. So, let's talk about solar, then. So, um, do you have rooftop solar for your house? And you don't... Ground-mounted solar. Right. So, you don't have rooftop, but you have... It's on your property, yes? Okay. Could you um, tell me, did you have it installed? I put it in myself. You put it in yourself? I designed it and put it in myself. Um, tell me how you um, ended up with rooftop solar, or not with rooftop solar, with this solar. I, I, I have a 3,600 square foot house, 3,700 square foot house, and the power normally runs anywhere from three to $400 a month. I did the math, figuring out total cost of ownership, return on investment, did all figurings out of everything, figured out how much it would cost me to put in, figured out how to install it, figured out how to uh, put it in, and mm -hmm. uh, I bought all the stuff, and uh, figured out what paperwork, and installed it. Okay, cool. Designed it, filled out all, all the forms, hired people, and installed it. Oh, so did you hire people to install it, or well, did I mean, you I wasn't it? digging out the holes on myself, I mean, you know, but I, I hired a couple of laborers, and I, and I hired an electrician to hardwire it into the house over there, because you have to. You gotta gotcha. have a you gotta have a you gotta have an electrician to, to sign off on stuff. Gotcha. Yes. So do you own them or do you lease them? Well, I own them. Okay. Was there any other reasons that you wanted to get rooftop or to get solar other than the economical reasons? Well, the fact that that you have the ability to own something that it's it's got a value, it's got a, it's tangible, you can put your hands on it. Uh, you're 20 years old. You're how old? 3540. Um, have y'all been paying power for do y'all pay power bills? You pay power right now? You pay power? What do you pay a month for? Can I talk? You can say it, I guess. What do you have to show for it? After you've been you've been paying power for a long time, right? You've been paying power for a long time. I don't pay power. Well, I don't pay a lot. I own my own power supply. Just like on my own water supply. I grow my own chicken, my own food. I try to be net neutral constant. Okay. And, and cost neutral too. Gotcha. It, it's practical sense to own something that you're paying for. But would you own a car that you lease forever and never have any never have any net worth in it? Why does it make not sense to own your own power supply? Gotcha. Were there any other reasons that were non economical that you wanted? The fact that I would own my own I would own my own asset. Okay. Something, something that you can put your hands on. Gotcha. Okay. The math, the math figure out. Do you find yourself a very, um, like each eco-conscious person, or were there, was not it not for all. other reasons? No, not I'm, at all. I'm a conservative. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay. I'm a, I'm a constitutional conservative. Uh, but it makes good sense to use your own money that you're paying for taxes for your own benefit. And uh, like I said, I wanted to learn about it, and understand it, so I did. Okay. How long ago did you get the solar installed? About six years ago. Okay, so it wasn't like the whole time that you lived here? No, no. Uh, I don't know what kind of 
I don't know what kind of tax savings or offerings are available now, but back when I purchased it, I got 30% federal, 35% state. Uh, Cobb EMC gave me $5,000 of, uh, of uh, money to, to purchase toward that. Mm -hmm. So after doing the math, my out-of-pocket was about $15,000, $14,000. Okay, so 13, 14, uh, on a, let's say 15 grand. Uh, and you do a math of three to $400 a month power, which is what I used. So you do say a net 350 times 12 is $4,200 a month. So how much did it cost me to put in? $15,000. So my ROI was three and a half years. Okay. So I've, I've been net neutral, or net positive for two and a half years, and will be net positive for the remainder of my soul. Well, so only after six years, you're already, yeah, that's okay. Well, three and a half. After three and a half years. Correct. Okay, well, so um, was there a reason that you didn't install solar before the six years? Uh, didn't know about it. Didn't care okay. about it. And then, uh, so what changed between the time that you moved in and then when you installed it? I got my big uh, my big car wheels and I got I didn't get turned in it. Okay. I did the math and figured out here's a better way. Okay, cool. So um, now we're going to look at the maps. If you would for me, I'm going to give you, you can use this mm -hmm. pen. And if you could, yeah. <laughs> on there, mark where you think the uh, people have the most rooftop solar adoption in the U.S. Well, first of all, let me argue that point to you as well. Okay? I'm going to give you a little different angle, okay? Um, um, you say rooftop, right? Mm-hmm. I don't believe that's the way it should be done. Okay. I'll tell you why. Uh, why don't you have solar? We just don't. Why not? Too much commitment, I guess. Okay, it's it's complicated, right? Because I don't know how long I'm going to be at that house. I don't want to put investment mm -hmm. in it. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, you're right. You, you don't know if you're going to stay there. Yeah. Your, your house probably is not designed for that, is it? No, it's supposed to be. Okay, you're, you're, don't you talk too. to her. You're, you're 20 years old. You, you probably live in college, right? Yeah, I live in okay. an apartment. Okay, why don't you have Why don't you have solar at your uh, at your apartment? I haven't looked into it, and it's the like an apartment complex. Wow, wow, your apartment complex won't let you put in a 120 foot by 20 solar array. I have a better idea for you. Okay, uh, it should not be on your house. The solar panels should not be on your house. They can be in your yard if you have if you have if you have a place. But do you know where those solar panels should be? It, you, ever, you guys ever go to Tennessee? Yeah, I've been. Okay, you're, if you went up to Tennessee and you put two hundred dollars in, into your four hundred one uh, into your checking account into an ATM in Tennessee, can you take it out here? I don't know. Probably not. You can, you can right? Yeah, because it's money going into Tennessee and you take it out here. It's an ATM. You put money in ATM there and take it out here. Here's where I'm going with this. My dad owns a mobile home park just down the road here called Arbor Mill Mobile Home Park. Um, it's got 300 lots over there. People pay rent. Okay. Uh, there's land all over the place, all over Cobb County, all over Georgia, all over the state, all over the, the United States. Okay. What? Why do you not have a solar array at one of those places there? So, so if you go in there and you have a piece of property, say 50 acres, and you're a farmer, okay, I should be able to sell you that much spot, that much space, say. That much little area right there for you to put your solar array in. The way that thing is designed and set up is it can put money into your checking account just like you could put money on your credit versus your power anywhere that thing sits. Because the sun shines here just as hard as it shines somewhere else. So you're using power at University of Georgia and you're using power at your house. You should have that sitting somewhere in some pasture field somewhere, not right here. If you don't have a space, but somewhere in this country, so you can put that in and install it and buy it, and then when you move or sell it, you can, it can go if you want to. You would have that net asset for the rest of your life. Okay. It does not need to be at your property hotel. I it understand. can be anywhere. Okay. That's why I put it right there. I don't believe it should go on your house. I'm I, a big fan of not having it on your house. I'm a big fan of having it in some field or pasture somewhere where if an inverter should go out on it or a panel should go out on it, some guy can pull up and fix it for you immediately because you're going to get an email saying, you know what, my, my micro-inverter just went down, number 12 needs to be replaced. I put it in there, but guess what? The guy who maintains it for $10 a month replaces it. That's the way it should be done. Okay. I wrote the director of, uh, I guess his name is Who, from, from the Obama administration, a plan to write that up. I had to do it all and never goodbye. Hmm. 
That's the way to do it. Okay. I'm going to put that on the house. Because if you look over there on the right-hand side, you see where it needs to be cleaned, mm -hmm. dirty. Inverters go out on it all the time. I don't want to climb on the house. Plus, I've got to replace the panels and shingles on that house. If I do, I've got leaks, irrigate, water problems, all kinds of stuff. Plus, my house is not set up perfectly for the house because my, my, my house is not facing the direction of the sun it needs to go in. That panel does. That's the way solar panels should be done, not the way we're doing it. Makes no sense. Gotcha. So, I understand your... So what was your question again? My question was, uh, where do you think the most rooftop solar power adoption is within the U.S.? Where is it if right now? Where do you think it is? Well, I, I think it's probably going to be where the most rooftop adoption for, for, for tax incentives and, and, and rebates. Okay. Is. Could you label it on that the map? Be, that would probably be Florida. I know they have there. Uh, I do know that California has some. Uh, I, I do the Northeast has a bunch, too. But they don't get the direct sun as much as we do, so it makes no sense. The best place to put solar panels would be where the sun shines the most, which is Arizona and New Mexico and places like that. So you think those... I think that whole swath there would be the best place probably the lowest place for, uh, for land value too. So you can go in there and, and do that. Okay. So what was um, some of your reasoning for why you chose the places you did for why they why you think they have the most solar power adoption for the rooftops? Why did that? Why do you think that? Why do you, th like the places that you chose, why do you think that they well, have the most? I know why most? people do it. It's because they figure out that their energy, uh, well, uh, I'll take this back. You've got something right here called the, uh, You've got the uh, you've got the TVA right there. Do you know who that is? Now, could you expand on that a little bit for me? <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about the the, the formation of uh, well, well, Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Franklin Roosevelt Rose had something called what? You're, you're a UGA kid. What did he do? I'm supposed to be asking the questions. <laughs> he had something called the New Deal. Yes. Okay. The New Deal was you know they go in there and they fix land. They grade out pop. Uh, they grade out property. And they do what? They do what? They twenty five hundred dollars. You can buy a farm. Uh, they give you a mule, whatever, whatever. It was the depression. People had to go work. The, the, the WPA, the Work Pro Projects Association, right? Okay. What did they do in Tennessee? They dammed up all the creeks and rivers, didn't they? T Tennessee Valley Authority. And what did they get from all that water they, they dammed up up there? They hydropower, right? So the TVA has the largest mass of solar panels because they will pay you the same or twice as much for, for creating power as it does for you to create. That's why the biggest concentration of solar panels are in the United States is in Tennessee. Because the TVA has, they, they, they used to have it, I don't think they still do it, but they have it where if you create 10 wattage of power, they'll pay you twice the amount for the power that you can do it. That's why the largest collection of solar panels in the United States are in Tennessee. I actually looked at buying property up there and doing that, but I couldn't get the math to work out. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think makes, um, what are some of the non-economic things that people would think about that they would consider having rooftop solar? Non-economic resale value most like likely. Like, for the places that you selected, why would they want solar for... Like, why do those places have solar for the rooftops in a non-economic stance? Well, people are, they also get tax incentives and rebates. They're selling their solar credit. It's one of the reasons why a lot of these places like Cobb, EMC, are actually putting money into solar. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're actually creating money and revenue from the solar credits. They're using people who are captive, like Cobb, EMC, they're, they're using captive people to pay for the projects that they're actually making money on other projects. What about, I said non-economic like, like reasons they would have it for non-economic reasons. Well, the fact that you would own your own solar array after after paying it off, and it would be yours to sell to somebody else. So so if I move, you know, I, I, that would be an asset I could take with me or sell it. Gotcha. I own, I own, I own it. And uh, what makes the people from the places that you label different from uh, the people who live in Cobb County in terms of solar? I would say Cobb County is, is more green. It's they, people have property here. They don't have uh, they uh, their their properties are not set up for solar. Uh, there are a lot of tree. You know, Georgia is very green, lush. You have a lot of trees and bushes and stuff like that. So Georgia is not the ideal location for that. Okay. Um, yeah. 
So the other places, did you also choose them because they were more ideal locations? Absolutely. Okay. In what sense? Like, they, it's just more they spread out? And, they, and the property, the land value is, is, is less. Okay. Most people don't have the ability to put their own ground in a soil array in. Uh, and, and putting it on the house, in my sense, is, doesn't make any sense. Plus, a lot of, there, there are a lot of covenants and restrictions for neighborhoods. People can't do it. Gotcha. Okay. So are you doing a, some kind of project for UGA? Is you writing a paper? Is this what you're trying to do? Kind of, yeah. It's a project. So now that you have done the U.S. map, are you finished labeling this like you're done? Pretty much, yes. Okay. If you could uh, do the same thing for the state of Georgia, just label where you think um, the people in Georgia, like regions, just label however you want, have the um, would have the most group pop solar power adoption. Well, I do know that, uh, that Georgia Power does not give you the rebates, or did not give you the rebates and incentives that Kyle BMC did. So so I, I don't know what, what they do now, but I think that's kind of like here. And then you've got this is this is part of the TVA, which okay. is so the so very very North Georgia. Yeah, TVA. So you know these counties do fall into that. Oh, okay. Uh, and most of these counties right in here have EMC, EMCs and utilities that require it or will give you incentives to purchase solar panels, including Cobb. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they still do, but they did when I when I did it. Gotcha. Yeah. If you if you go online and type in. Uh, Type in Mike Jones and type in MDJ online, which is Merritt Daily Journal. You'll see an article about four or five years ago where I put those on there. Oh, okay. For the men. Yes. Gotcha. When you drew that line in the middle of Georgia, were you referring to say that the south of South Georgia has a lot, or did you mean they to say they do not say have that? a lot because because of that uh, because of uh, uh, Georgia Power. I, well, I believe Georgia Power runs this the gamut must of here. Yes. Okay, so you meant to label like the middle region. Yeah, with that right, line. right in here, right in here. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And um, so, why then do you think um, the rest of Georgia, like the south of Georgia, they don't have a lot of solar there? Because here's how it works you put in a solar array, okay? Um, your power to purchase power is 10, 10 cents a kilowatt. Okay, if I produce power down there and I don't use my power, guess what? Guess what I get? I get wholesale price. So Georgia Power gives me wholesale price versus retail price. So I'm going to go out there and invest a lot of money and put an array in and just to get wholesale? Why would I want to do that? It makes more sense I give my power to use somebody else and take it back and use it all rather than give it away and, and make nothing off of it or, or actually lose money off of it. So it makes no sense. I don't know what the rules and regulations are now, but that's how it used to be when I, when I looked at the project. Okay. Do you think there's any um, non-economic reasons that they would have or that they wouldn't want it as opposed to where there's we are? There's a lot of politics that when it comes to solar, especially with rebates and the tax incentives. Okay. Yes. And uh, I, I believe that, that there are a lot of people who probably take advantage of that. Okay. Yes. They, uh, they know that a lot of people who really understand it, study it. I'm not, I'm not accusing of anybody anything, but if, if the government comes up with a new program, the guys in power to do anything about it are the guys who work with the utility companies. And they go in there and take all the credits and get all the stuff. Then they do all the stuff and set all, all that up, and then they reap the rewards of that. Of that. Okay. Not the people like you are. So the people like who are high up? People within the, you know, like I said, it, it, I, it's a, it's a pretty good buy. There's a reason why you, everybody doesn't have a solar panel like I told you a minute ago about their shit here. But if you, if, if I told you, if I called you guys up and said, hey, you want to buy a solar panel, it's it's sitting in it's sitting in South Georgia right now. It's going to cost you twenty dollars a month to maintain, but it's going to produce three hundred dollars a month power for you, and it'll be yours. You don't have to put it in. You don't have to do anything. It's got a five year ROI on it. So basically, you just pay your bill for five years, and after five years, you own it. Would you do it? That's the way it should be done. Okay. Yes. So you believe, like, pretty, pretty There's no much. reason why we should build other new solar panels. Uh, there's no reason we should be, build, be building additional power plants because we have the ability to that. By the way, that cost me about 50000 to put in. I bet I could do it now for 20. Oh, yeah? So the ROI is what? Two years versus or one and a half years versus whatever it is now? Mm -hmm. It's not that complicated. It's very easy to do. Are you saying that the cost decreased after a few years? Substantially. Okay. Yes. Uh, the price to of installed? panels have dropped. Yes. 
Okay. Was that just like the installation cost? No, the installation cost was whatever. But the cost of the per, per, panels have dropped by half. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. The technology out there is now where you have an ROI to pay for it in two years. Mm -hmm. if, you know, and if you don't have the skill to put it in, my plan would say, guess what? It's already put in. Here, here, just sign here. Pay, make the payments here. When you use your power at your house, you're using power that you're creating somewhere else. It's everything. The, the, the grid out here, the power grid is now. Yes. The utility that I purchased power from right now in Cobb MC, they don't produce the power. They maintain the power grid. I actually have to pay a fee in order to have my solar panel because I'm using their grid to produce power that's pumped out to other people. Mm -hmm. And guess who gets the solar credits for my solar panel? Not you. Cobb MC because they gave me the money to invest. By the way, they have to. They have by law they have to have solar panels. They, they require to by the federal government to have, to have certain percentage of power produced in solar. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And um, what about some of the people, your close friends here in Georgia? Do you know anyone who has solar other than yourself? Or even not even rooftop solar, if they have solar in their yards too? Do you know anyone? No one at all? That's interesting. That's interesting because you actually have it. Like, I've talked to a lot of people who haven't had it. Um, why do you think that is for them? They don't understand it. They don't have a land for it. Um, it's easier to make a check, write a check to the MC to figure something out. Okay. Do you think there's any um, non-economic barriers that would prevent them from wanting it? Well, I think maybe they think that uh, this is a conservative issue versus a liberal issue. I think, oh my gosh, the solar panels, people don't think they think it keeps me of being a greenie or something like that. They don't understand the math. It's, it's math. It's math. Gotcha. So it has nothing to do with the environment for you personally. No, you think I'm trying to do it for the environment? No, I'm asking you if, if that's like a factor in it or at all. Not really. Uh, not really. No. Do you think? Never okay. Do you think it would be uh, something that would encourage people that you know to get them? What's that? The environment, like, would that be a factor for other people that you know? It's not really. It's not really something for the environment. Okay. It's it, the, the environment has nothing to do with it. That's just a conception that you've come up with. It, it, having solar panels or not having solar panels is, is, is or is not less environmental. It's okay. Not. Because somebody else is going to produce solar power somewhere else in, in some other place. Do you think then um, people that you know in Georgia, would there be non-economic um, incentive for them to get solar? Say that again. People that you know, is there non-economic incentive for them to get solar? I think I think people don't get solar because they don't understand it. They don't want to go through the process and understand it. They don't have they don't have the ability to figure it out. Um, they also, it, it, the way they write the laws to get to get it, you're actually when when, when you if you apply for, to fill out your paperwork, you don't get money from the government to pay to pay for your stuff. You get your own money back. Uh, and if you don't pay enough in taxes to begin with, you don't get all of it back at one time to put them in. They give you, like if you if you pay $5,000 a year in taxes, they give you a percentage of that back for taxes for the amount you paid in. I just happened to earn enough where I pay all at one time to get all back at one time. Oh, okay. Correct. So okay. It, was, it was very, it, I understood it to that point. So when I did my taxes, when I bought the solar panel, I got to take the net off the bottom of the taxes for me. Yeah, so you could so rather than paying forty thousand dollars a year in taxes, forty thousand dollars, I just wrote a check for twenty, twenty five, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you get it right, right away. It mm -hmm. made perfect good sense. So, um, you're saying there's not enough knowledge of solar, like people don't have it. Yes, How did you it, learn about it? Just under, reading it, understanding it. Like on the internet or in books or Yeah, I don't even, I mean I don't I don't I don't read books, but I read it. Okay. When I, when I put it in, the uh, the guys at Cobb BMC had to go over and review it. They mm -hmm. said it was the best design system they've ever seen. Okay. I just don't pay attention to it as much as I used to. I need to clean it, do better stuff to it. I got other projects. Trees falling on the house, chickens, whatever. This crazy dog bite. You know, my head bite. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I got other stuff. I leave it alone. It, it runs. Gotcha. My bill's low. So you like having it? You enjoy having it? I'm just asking. I enjoy having what? Like the solar, the panels. No, I don't. Have you had a good experience with them so far? You know, it's it. You know, it, it, 
it requires a little more maintenance than I thought. It, you know, you, you know, it, it does. Mm -hmm. And I don't really pay the time I need to do what I need to do. If I didn't have many other things going on, I'd clean it better, do more whatever, whatever with it, monitor it better. Uh, I was sold the equipment based upon the fact that it would do all this fancy stuff. It does. You know, and I don't mess with it. It's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Okay. I don't even pay the power bill. My wife does. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Since my kid moved out, um, you know, he, he, you know, he, it's really been beneficial. <laughs> you know, and my daughter's moving out too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go work some more.